Conference USA announces Players of the Week for April 15th. Starting on the baseball diamond, Southern Miss catcher Chase Fowler is the hitter of the week, and ECU right-hander Drew Reynolds is the week's top pitcher. Fowler went 7 for 17 with two triples, two walks, five RBI, and five runs scored last week. In the opening game of the week, he went 3 of 4, including a pair of leadoff singles. In the second UNO game, Fowler drove in a pair of runs. He singled in the ninth and then eventually scored the only run of the game in the series opener against Marshall. Fowler opened the Saturday doubleheader with a fourth inning two-run triple that scored the game's first two runs. Fowler also started all five games behind the plate. Reynolds picked up a pair of wins over the weekend and helped ECU to a series win on the road at Tulane. Reynolds improved to 3-1 on the season, earning his first victory Friday night in the Pirates' 3-2 win in 13 innings. The right-hander also tied his career high in strikeouts with six. Reynolds picked up the series clinching win Sunday, tossing 1.2 scoreless innings where he struck out two in ECU's 4-2 victory. At the plate, he batted 300 with an RBI, a double, and a run scored, posting a pair of multi-hit games at Tulane. On the season, he owns a team-best 1.44 ERA in 16 appearances with 6 saves, 26 strikeouts, 12 walks, and has allowed 8 runs on 17 hits in 25 innings pitched. On the softball diamond, Houston catcher Haley Uten is the week's top hitter, and Ellen Roberts of Memphis is the pitcher of the week. Uten batted 500 with two grand slams, 11 runs batted in, and five runs scored while helping the Cougars go 4-0 last week. In the first game of the UTEP series, Uten went 2 of 3 with a walk and two runs batted in while helping Houston to a 17-2 victory. In game two, she was a perfect 3-for-3, three three, hitting grand slams in consecutive innings and driving in eight runs in a 10-7 victory. Uten finished off the week going 1 of 2 with a double, a walk, a run scored, and her 11th RBI of the week. Roberts went 2 and 1 with a .29 ERA and 18 strikeouts and three starts last week. She allowed just one earned run with two walks and 24.1 innings pitched to help Memphis earn the three-game series victory over UCF. Roberts capped the week with a four-hit, 1-0 shutout over UCF Sunday where she struck out five and walked one. With the tying run on first, with one out in the seventh, Roberts struck out the final two batters for her first complete game shutout of the season and sixth of her career. She began the week pitching a complete game 11-inning thriller at UL Monroe as the Tigers allowed an unearned run in the bottom of the 11th for a 1-0 loss. Roberts gave up just four hits with one walk and nine strikeouts in 10.1 innings pitched. Moving to outdoor track and field, UCF sprinter Octavius Freeman earns the Female Athlete of the Week and Abiola Anakoya of UTEP is the male winner. Freeman bettered her 200-meter school record she set last week with the world's top wind legal time of 22.57 seconds this season at the Hurricane Alumni Invitational in Miami, Florida. Freeman, the world's current 100-meter leader, edged three-time world champion and two-time Olympic medalist Lauren Williams in a photo finish to claim first place in the 200-meter. As the anchor of the 4x100 relay, Freeman and her team of Afia Charles, Ariel Scott, and Alexis Faulkner won the race in 43.58 seconds for the third best time in the NCAA this season. Onakoya opened the UTEP Invitational by clocking in the ninth fastest time in the nation of 46.22 seconds in the 400 meter. The sprinter went on to compete in the 200 meter for the first time this season and registered a personal best of 20.83 seconds. His time also earned him the number 18 spot in the national rankings thus far. Onakoya concluded the meet as the anchor of the 4x4 relay, which proved to be a close race. The junior led the squad to a second place finish with a split of 45.5 seconds. He is now ranked first in the Conference USA in both 200 and 400 meter dash. And finally, this week's tennis winners are Samantha Vickers of Tulsa and Jordan Vliegen of East Carolina. Vickers, ranked 18 in the country, extended her win streak in singles to 15 matches as the Golden Hurricane concluded their regular season with two victories, including a 4-2 win against number 28 Memphis. Against the Tigers, she teamed up with Isara Enrique for an 8-4 win over number 65 Kelly Gray and Courtney Collins at number one doubles. Vickers also earned a 6-2, 6-3 win against Collins as she picked up her 10th win of the year against a ranked opponent. Vliegen posted a combined record of 3-1 with one singles victory and two doubles wins last week. His singles win came against number 54 Rafael Aida of UNC Wilmington. Vliegen teamed with freshman Colin Roller to defeat the 20th ranked UNC Wilmington doubles pair of Chris Cooprider and Costa Blank. Vliegen and Roller are 15-0 at number one doubles this season. In singles, he finished the regular season at 18-1, winning his first 17 matches before suffering a three-set defeat to Fernando Guillen of Campbell. This is his first Player of the Week honor of the year, 
and third for his career. For the Conference USA Digital Network, I'm Stacey Erfley.